Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this vlog is all about getting ready with me. So today is Saturday and me and my husband we are going to a friend's place just for a get together. So it's been a while that you know we haven't gone anywhere and we were stuck in lockdown but now the situation has really improved and the lockdown has also been lifted up. So today is the day that we are going out and I'm really excited and I am also you know asking you to get ready with me and share my excitement and the, another reason behind you know shooting this vlog was because in the last vlog where I was in Ratlam in the hotel and I was getting ready so I had to fast forward that you know uh, getting ready part because the video was coming out to be too long so I thought why not shoot it today and you know share with you share with you all so let's start with reviewing the product so the first product that i ordered was wow skin science aloe vera foaming face wash and this is how it looks it has a very cute you know brush over here which will really cleanse your impurities and the dirt, dirt which you have so it's been two weeks i had been using it and you know it is really working for me my skin my face is like less oily now and i feel that there had been a little bit change after using this one so i think i would really recommend it for someone who has oily face and you know want to pamper themselves using this brush in the morning so it is really good one i think you should definitely go for it but the other product that i that i used and i ordered was wow 10 in 1 miracle shampoo this one it is like infused with rosemary and tea tree oil but uh, it didn't work for me because uh, i think it, it didn't work for me because um, i have oily hair and instead of removing the oil i think it added more oil to my scalp so also i had a lot of hair fall after using this one so i think for people who have oily scalp and oily hair i would definitely not recommend this one maybe uh, it's for someone who has dry hair maybe it can work on them but i'm not very sure about it um i'm not going to use it from now i think i'm going to buy a new shampoo for myself now so um i think i'll do a little bit more research before buying my next shampoo so that you know it will suit my hair because i have oily hair plus i've also colored them and they are also keratin treated it's been a while that i got my keratin treatment done so i think uh, now is the time i think i should get start getting ready because raj is coming from work and i think he's going to really get angry if i'm not ready and we'll be getting late as well so i don't take much time getting ready but yeah it's better because now i started shooting vlogs also so i think it's important that i should you know take my precautions and get ready as soon as possible so first step that i'm going to do is wash my face because it's been while i stayed at home today i didn't apply anything till now on the face so i'm going to wash my face now and let's take you along so now i'm going to use the same face wash that i talked about the aloe vera wow face wash so just you have to press this and the foam comes out itself and then you just massage it with a brush forget to clean your neck every time you start getting dirty don't neglect it I really love doing this. Look at this. The instant, you know, freshness that this one gives is. So I washed my face and now it's time to start applying the makeup. But before applying the makeup, I always make sure that, you know, I apply rose water on my face. I don't know where I got this habit from but I think it's very important and like it will protect my skin if there are any chemicals that are released from the makeup. 
so I just use this dabber gulab gel I think any gulab gel would work for you and just damp it all over my face okay so now after the face wash I'm going to start with the eye makeup so eye makeup should always go first and the palette eyeshadow palette that I use is Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette I think it's the shadow palette which is the most expensive makeup investment that I have done but I really don't regret it and the shade that I'm going to use is the 24k uh, it's a golden one because this is the top I'm wearing and I think it would really go well with this one plus I also want to keep, keep it a minimal look like a Saturday night basic makeup look eyeshadow is done once I'm done with eyeshadow I always apply my brow pencil guys I think it's been two months I haven't got my eyebrows done because of the lockdown but I think this brow pencil really works for me the pencil that I use is Nika Bro Chica Wow eyebrow pencil and it is really great it gives me a natural eyebrow look and it comes with a brush also so once you use the pencil just use the brush to comb your eyebrows and it will give it give them a perfect shape as well just because I couldn't get my brows done so now I'm done with the brows so now these days I you know keep my brows little broad because my threading has not been done and they are out of shape so that's why it's better to keep them little broad and the kajal now it's time for kajal the kajal that I use is Lakme 9 to 5 natural gel kajal this is the kajal that I recently ordered with the wow products and it's been while that I have been using it and I don't apply eye, um, eyeliner because I don't know they really mess up with my eyes so it's just the eyeshadow and the kajal and the kajal I think gives a great definition to your eyes so just make sure to add a little border So just make sure to add a little border to your eyes after applying the kajal inside <clears throat> because that would make your eyes look a little bigger so I'm done with the kajal and eye makeup it's just the mascara that is left and I apply it at the end so I'm going to apply the concealer so the concealer that I use is LA Pro Concealer LA Girl Pro Concealer so usually the area behind your eyes are dark below your eyes and be careful because you have already applied the eyeshadow so just be careful with the concealer and so the reason behind you know area be below the eyes getting dark is more use of screen in your laptops in your mobile phones and sometimes they also indicate some nutritional deficiency So just carefully dab the concealer when you apply the eyeshadow. So after the concealer, it's time for the foundation. The foundation that I use is Sephora. And if you haven't seen the last video, like in the Ratlam video, I mentioned that I only require this much. I think it's lesser than the size of a pea and just the drop and you know put it on my hand and apply it all over my face and neck 
and the excessive one I just again put it on the blender make a blender and the last step of the makeup is the blush so the Nika it's the Nika blush that I use so it has two shades pink and little bit of brown and today I'm going to use I think both of them <laughs> somewhat pink and somewhat brown Okay guys, so before we end this look, let's do the favorite part of my makeup that is applying lip color and I usually don't apply one lip color. always use it in combination with one or the other lip color so that it doesn't look too light or too dark or too bright or too you know Hi guys so this is the final look that i've created and uh, i also you know thought to curl my hair because i thought this would go better with the look with the dress that i'm wearing and now i'm going to show you the complete look so yes this is what i'm wearing so the top there's a neon top which i got and these are the zara you know um plazos and it's a normal footwear that i got from um some local shop i don't remember and uh, yeah so i hope you like this video and do subscribe to our channel and keep watching and thanks for loving this channel so much and i'll meet you again till then bye bye